हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट हाउ टू डू कैलीग्राफी यूजिंग हाइलाइटर्स व्हिच इज अ हाइली रिक्वेस्टेड वन आई होप दैट यू वुड फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल आई नो दैट सम ऑफ यू आर यलिंग दैट व्हाई इज दिस वीडियो सो लॉन्ग it's a tutorial and tutorials are supposed to be long and i am sure that after watching this video you will know how to do calligraphy using highlighters because i am a good teacher i guess only if you will practice okay so let's get into the video but don't forget to practice or as i will be really disappointed that you haven't learned calligraphy still please enjoy some clips of me organizing these highlighters i don't know why i added so many of these i think they are good if anyone is curious these highlighters are called piano smart ones and The other ones are called fluorescent pens. I don't know how to pronounce it. The name of this brand. And these mild liners. These are not the zebra mild liners. They are different. They are from a Chinese brand. I don't know what the name is. And these mercury highlighters. They are really good. So let's get started with the tutorial. This is the first time I have wasted so much time starting a video. Oh my goodness. So the first thing that you will need to learn to do calligraphy using highlighters is a highlighter. I know that's a really missing thing to learn. And once you have your highlighter, you will need a person like me to teach you how to use them for doing calligraphy. So I hope that this tutorial won't be a waste of your precious time. So this is a highlighter and this is how it snip looks like and this is how you are supposed to be holding it and here's a clip of me doing calligraphy using this highlighter in real time Calligraphy using highlighters is pretty easy but everything needs practice So let's start with the basics. Here I am writing the letter A using a highlighter. It has both up strokes as well as down strokes. So for the up strokes you will need to use the thin side of the nib. the from by the thin side i mean the pointy side of the nib like shown in the video here's how you are supposed to do the up strokes not like the third one that's a mistake like this using the pointy side and for the down strokes you will need to use the thick side of the nib or you can say the entire nib of the highlighter while doing your down strokes make sure that the entire nib of the highlighter is touching your paper or else your calligraphy will be ruined 
so this is how you are supposed to do the down strokes using the entire nib of the highlighter Here is a real time clip of me writing the English alphabets using a highlighter in the calligraphy form so that you can understand it better. I hope that this real time clip is helpful to you in some way. I would highly recommend you to go and get a notebook along with a highlighter and try writing these alphabets along with me while watching this video because if you will try writing them after watching this video then you might have forgotten some of the stuff and it would seem hard. So go and get a notebook and a highlighter and try writing while watching this video and feel free to ask any questions I will try to answer them for sure Here is a quick overview of everything that I have said so far in this video and you can see all of these alphabets closely. Feel free to increase the speed of this video if you want. One of the most important things that you should keep in mind while doing calligraphy using this is how to rotate the highlighter. If you are doing calligraphy using a brush pen, you just have to apply pressure on the nib according to the stroke that you are doing. Like for the upstroke, you should apply a little less pressure, and for the downstroke, you are supposed to apply a lot of pressure. And the case is totally different if you are doing calligraphy using a highlighter. You should treat a highlighter like a highlighter and not like a brush pen. So you should know how to kind of rotate it according to the stroke that you are doing. Like for the upstrokes, you are supposed to use the pointy side of the nape of the highlighter. And for the downstroke, you should use the bold bold nib or you can say the entire nib of the highlighter also i added these clips i mean the real time clips so that you can follow along while watching this video so i hope that you are actually following along
a close up of how everything looks like. So far we have discussed how to write single alphabets using the highlighters. So if you want to write words then you should connect all of these letters together using a thin stroke like I am going to show you. So first I wrote this A in calligraphy and then I am going to connect the A with the E using a thin stroke with the pointy side of the nib of the highlighter. So I am joining the all of the letters together using a thin stroke like shown in the video. So I hope that this you can understand this. Here are some more real time clips for you to follow along while watching this video. I hope that you can understand this. This is my first time that I have made a tutorial like this so I don't know if I am doing this right or wrong. I think it's right but I don't know. Here are some close up clips once again. Don't forget to eat something <laughs> if you feel hungry like me. So far we have learned how to write alphabets, words and sentences using highlighters and now I will let you guys know about some things that you should keep in mind while doing calligraphy using highlighters. So the first thing that you should keep in mind while doing calligraphy using highlighters is this that the highlighters are not brush pens so you should not apply pressure on them 
or else you will ruin the nib of your brush I mean your highlighter treat your highlighter like a highlighter and the number second thing is the upstrokes are supposed to be thin and the downstrokes should be thick or else I don't think so that you will be doing calligraphy I had no idea what to write I have literally written this word so many times. I wrote this to give you a little demonstration of how your upstrokes as well as downstrokes should be different from each other. The number three, the third thing that you should keep it in mind is keep it reading the nib of your highlighter or else your calligraphy will look bad if you want to read your highlighter's nib then I don't think so that you will be doing calligraphy because for calligraphy your upstrokes as well as downstrokes should be different from each other and if you want to read the lip of your highlighter then everything will look same and it won't look good at all There is a clear difference between the words. One of them was written while reading the name of the highlighter, and the other was written while just not reading the name. So the number four thing that you should keep in mind that practice makes the man perfect or the woman perfect. So keep practicing, or else. you won't get better at all even if you watch a lot of tutorials only watching tutorials won't help you at all so be sure to practice and the number 5 thing that you should keep in mind is have fun don't be really hard on yourself calligraphy is supposed to be helpful to you in some way so you should have a positive impact on your brain and not a negative one and the number 6 and the most important tip is don't forget to subscribe to support me and to watch more good tutorials like this i think this is a good tutorial so if not then just give me a dislike i don't care at all now The number seventh and the final tip is that I would recommend you to use round body-shaped highlighters and not flat body-shaped highlighters because if you will use the flat ones, then they will be hard to use for you as they are small in size and they are flat and like they are big and. holding them would be hard and doing calligraphy would with them would be much harder so just stick with a round small highlighter
what i mean by a flat shape highlighter is this is like this purple highlighter this is a like this is not a bad quality highlighter or something like that but as its body structure is a little different from the other highlighters it would be a little harder to use this to do calligraphy especially as some of you might be beginners so i would not recommend you to use highlighters like this but if you just have these then it's okay just try and i'm sure you will get used to of how to do calligraphy using these flat shaped ones as you can see that it's quite hard to do that and to do calligraphy with because it's so fat and white that i can't even hold it properly so if you are starting out on doing calligraphy then i would recommend you to use small round shaped highlighters like this one because these are really easy to use and you won't actually get pain in your hands while doing calligraphy so keep this in mind If you have any video requests that you would like to see me make then don't forget to let me know in the comments or on Instagram or anywhere or even through email if you feel comfortable with it I will try my best to make them Thank you so much for watching this video, you have made it to the end and I really hope that you would have found this video helpful. If you did then please 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 subscribe. I have been making YouTube videos for the past 2 years and everyone laughs at me when I tell them how much subscribers I have. So please subscribe so that someone would respect me. And would appreciate my efforts if you have any questions regarding this video then feel free to ask them in the comment section or just DM me on Instagram I will surely try to answer them links to my social media accounts and Everything else will be in the description as always. Thank you so 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 much for watching once again. I don't know why I added so many clips.
बाय आई विल होपफुली सी यू सोन इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो